The anatomical therapeutic chemical ATC classification system is used for the classification of active ingredients of drugs according to the organ or system on which they act and their therapeutic, pharmacological and chemical properties. It is controlled by the World Health Organization Collaborating Center for Drug Statistics Methodology (WHOCC) and was first published in 1976. This pharmaceutical coding system divides drugs into different groups according to the organ or system on which they act, their therapeutic intent or nature, and the drug's chemical characteristics. Different brands share the same code if they have the same active substance and indications. Each bottom-level ATC code stands for a pharmaceutically used substance, or a combination of substances, in a single indication or use. This means that one drug can have more than one code, for example acetylsalicylic acid aspirin has AO1AD05 as a drug for local oral treatment, BO1ACO6 as a platelet inhibitor, and NO2BAO1 as an analgesic and antipyretic, as well as one code can represent more than one active ingredient, for example CO9BBO4 is the combination of perindopril with amlodipine, two active ingredients that have their own codes CO9AAO4 and CO8CAO1 respectively when prescribed alone. The ATC classification system is a strict hierarchy, meaning that each code necessarily has one and only one parent code, except for the 14 codes at the topmost level which have no parents. The codes are semantic identifiers, meaning they depict in themselves the complete lineage of parenthood. History The ATC system is based on the earlier anatomical classification system, which is intended as a tool for the pharmaceutical industry to classify pharmaceutical products as opposed to their active ingredients. This system, confusingly also called ATC, was initiated in 1971 by the European Pharmaceutical Market Research Association and is being maintained by the EPHMRA and the Pharmaceutical Business Intelligence and Research Group Its codes are organized into four levels. The WHOS system, having five levels, is an extension and modification of the EFRAS. It was first published in 1976. Topic. Classification In this system, drugs are classified into groups at five different levels. Topic. First level The first level of the code indicates the anatomical main group and consists of one letter. There are 14 main groups. Example, C cardiovascular system. Topic: Second level. The second level of the code indicates the therapeutic subgroup and consists of two digits. Example: CO3 diuretics. Topic: Third level. The third level of the code indicates the therapeutic, pharmacological subgroup and consists of one letter. Example, CO3 C high ceiling diuretics. Topic. Fourth level The fourth level of the code indicates the chemical, therapeutic, pharmacological subgroup and consists of one letter. Example, CO3-CA sulfonamides Topic. Fifth level The fifth level of the code indicates the chemical substance and consists of two digits. Example, CO3-CAO1 furosemide Topic. Achivet. The Anatomical Therapeutic Chemical Classification System for Veterinary Medicinal Products is used to classify veterinary drugs. Achivet codes can be created by placing the letter Q in front of the ATC code of most human medications. 
For example, furosemide for veterinary use has the code QCO3CAO1. Some codes are used exclusively for veterinary drugs, such as Qi immunologicals, QJ51 antibacterials for intramammary use or QNO5AX90 amperoside. Defined daily dose The ATC system also includes defined daily doses DDDs for many drugs. This is a measurement of drug consumption based on the usual daily dose for a given drug. According to the definition, T he DDD is the assumed average maintenance dose per day for a drug used for its main indication in adults. Adaptations and updates National issues of the ATC classification, such as the German Anatomisch Therapeutisch Chemistry classification MIT Tagesdosen, may include additional codes and DDDs not present in the WHO version. ATC follows guidelines in creating new codes for newly approved drugs. In order to create a new ATC code, an application has to be sent to the WHO. New ATC codes are published twice annually. A formal release of new ATC edition occurs once a year. See also Classification of pharmacotherapeutic referrals ICD-10 International Classification of Diseases International Classification of Primary Care ICPC2, ICPC2 Medical Classification Pharmaceutical Care Pharmacotherapy Rx norm